Weiss from BodyPerformance.net, and this is week eight of the bench press program, and that puts us seven weeks away from the competition in Kamloops in August. Uh, a couple interesting, or at least interesting to me, developments this week, a couple decisions that I made about the competition. Uh, because of the way that the competition was actually scheduled, uh, I originally intended to do the bench press only competition on the Friday and uh, because of the way my work schedule works and this is my hobby and I do make a living outside of this um, I decided to actually do the three lift competition which is going to be on the Sunday so that way I don't have to take time off of work I can still work my regular schedule and I can go down probably on the Saturday evening and get myself ready and then the competition for the three lift is going to be on the Sunday so I haven't been doing a tremendous amount of squatting and deadlifting uh, coming into this my main focus has been the bench press training and it still is going to be uh, a big focus on the bench my my main goal was to try and get the bench record so that hasn't really changed but I'm going to give it this last little while and, and increase my training on my squat and my deadlift and uh, at least try and put up respectable numbers on those. But the focus of the bench press still hasn't changed. So you'll see as we go through the, as the program this week, uh, the bench press is still the majority of the work that's being done. But I am throwing in some specific squatting and deadlifting training. So you'll see how that kind of affects it. I'm not going to be... Uh, gauging the volume and intensity of that work it would be lower than I than it normally would be if I was really focusing full-on uh, a three lift program so we're still gonna stick with the bench press but uh, things have changed just a little bit so anyways let's get going with it July 4th uh, 2016 this is the pause bench press I uh, did pinkies on the rings again uh, I've started to increase the volume a little bit this week from last week so I had uh, three sets at 125 for three reps and then I went up to uh, one set with 130 kilos for three, uh, three reps as well for one set and then I did three sets of three with 135 so that increased the volume of the day uh, a fair bit compared to last week. Then I did some touch and go bench press with 125. I did five sets of five with that. So that's actually a pretty reasonably high volume day compared to, to some of the previous weeks, especially the last two weeks. So, and that's going to be a bit of the, you'll see as we get to the charts, there's, there's another buildup of volume and intensity now, not to the same level that there was at the beginning, at the beginning weeks, but I don't want to maintain too low a volume like I have the last two weeks. One, because of uh, recovering from the injury the one week, and then the other one was kind of a bit of a forced deload week because of being away. So July 5th, I did pause bench press again. So continuing with the uh, frequency of training, my volume per workout has gone down and uh, has remained reasonably low, higher than last week though. But my, now I'm increasing my frequency. So this week I actually did five uh, bench press sessions. And last week I only did four. So that's, uh, that's uh, uh, even though you don't have as much volume per workout, you're still getting in a lot of practice. So with the pause bench press today, I just went with doubles and worked my way up. I started low at like 105 kilos and I worked my way up to 140 kilos for a double on that. Then I added in some squat training. I'd already made up my mind by this time that I was going to be doing the three lifts. So I thought I'd better get some uh, heavier squat training in. And I'm going to kind of go with a little bit more frequency of that too, instead of hammering it for one day a week. So I just did two sets this day, 155 kilos and 165 kilos for a double. And that's all I did for that day. The next day on July 6th, I also added in some deadlift training. I did five sets of two with 175. Haven't been doing much deadlift training at all, so this is mostly technique work. Then I did the pause bench press again on that day. Pinkies on the rings. I uh, did a few doubles up to 140, and then I did a triple with 135, and then a triple with 125. And that gave me about 1,560 kilos of volume that day. So nothing too crazy, but 
the frequency is obvious when I, you see now the next day, July 7th, once again, more pause bench press, pinkies on the rings. I was staying away from the um, grip, putting my index fingers on the rings just for a little bit more. My pec is feeling really good now and I was planning on this Saturday actually giving the, the wider grip another chance again. But I was just kind of holding off for a little while even though I'm feeling good I just didn't want to didn't want to push it too soon so on this day I did 120 kilos for triples for two sets then I did 130 kilos for a triple 135 for a triple and then 137.5 for three triples then I finished with 140 kilos for one triple again so that was a pretty good amount of volume on this day is 3172 and a half kilos that's the highest volume day of the week, I believe. And then I did some squats on this day as well. Uh, 145 for three, 165 for three, and then 175 for two sets of three. And that's the heaviest squatting that I've done in, in a fair bit of time. So now what I've, what I've planned to do, because I've decided to do the three lift um, competition now, is on the Saturdays, which initially I thought the competition I would be lifting on the Saturday, but it turns out I'm lifting on the Sunday, but that's neither here nor there. What I almost am doing now is mock meets every Saturday from now, probably until the week before the competition. So on this Saturday, the 9th, I did my competition squats. And when I'm saying competition squat, that means low bar, um, where the regular grip that I would use with my hands, uh, belt, um, I even wear singlet and uh, and squat shoes. Everything basically that I would would tip and knee sleeves. Everything that I would typically wear in the competition. So competition squat. This is the first time in quite a long time that I've actually done a low bar competition squat. So I started off just with doubles, and I started off with 125, and I worked up to 185 for for one double. So I was pretty happy with that, considering that's. A fair bit heavier than I've gone for a while. So I went with the same plan with the bench press. I wanted to do a heavy double, but also with the competition stuff. So wrist wraps, um, the shoes, the whole the whole nine yards. And these ones I did move my fingers out, index onto the ring. So this is the first time I've done that in a while. Everything felt really good, so no problems. So I was able to, I started at 125 for a double with these, and I worked up to 150 kilos for a double. So that's the heaviest I've done in this whole training cycle. So I was very happy with that as well. Then with deadlifts, I just, I, I tend to like singles with deadlifts more than doing, than doing, especially when I'm going heavy, I don't like to do heavy reps. So I just started with 175 for a single and then progressed up 185, 195, 205 for a single. So that was it for that day. I, everything felt really good. The intensity is gonna be ramping up uh, progressively over the next few weeks so I was really happy with the way that this started you don't want to have any grinding reps at this point in time I, I like to see all of my reps relatively look the same so now as we look at the charts with uh, average daily intensity you can see that when we look at uh, this last week I had five days and all of the intensity is quite high in in relation to the weeks before last week where they were a lot more varied and the the frequency is obviously more there was five days of bench pressing whereas typically before i had three and then that one week that i was hurt i actually only had two so uh, more frequency with relatively high intensity is what you see going on there and now when we go to the average daily pressing related volume though you look at last week, uh, the, well, the week we're talking about, I had one day that was pretty high volume in relation to the last two weeks. And then the other four days, the volume is, is relatively low, especially when you're looking back at when I was actually in the volume block, it actually looks like nothing. But so what this is, what we're looking at here is we're looking at relatively high volume with a relatively high intensity, sorry, with relatively low volume with high frequency. So five workouts um, in, in one week is, is quite a bit of, of frequency, obviously, but when your volume per day is fairly low and your intensity is fairly high, 
it's pretty easy to recover from. You'll also notice as I went through this last week that I had essentially no accessory work there. I still did like my band pull aparts and stuff like that, which I don't put right into the program. I just consider that kind of warm up and, and prehab type stuff. Um, but I did no rows, I did no curls, I did no, nothing like that. So I'm also getting a volume drop off so that I can still recover from the, from the high frequency. When we look at the total weekly pressing related volume, you can see that now the volume has come up a little from the last two weeks that were almost identical. The one week that I was hurt and then kind of the forced um, deload week because of being away. It's probably still, when you look at the high volume weeks, it's still half the volume, but this volume will build in the next couple weeks slightly, not to the levels of previous, so you're gonna see a trend of where the volume was high, it dropped off significantly, and then started building up again, but not quite to the same level. And the reason because of that is you look at the intensity now, the intensity, and this is the average intensity for the whole week, because I did have some days where it was, where it was definitely higher, because it's only 78%. But I also had some sets where I was in the 90% in the range but uh, you can see the last two weeks, the intensity was basically the same and obviously a lot higher than the week that I was hurt. And it's rivaling the highest intensity weeks when I was working with high volume. So that's the way this week went. Uh, a little bit, like I said, a little bit of a, a development with now there's gonna be three lifts in the competition. I'm still focusing on the, on the bench press. I still wanna chase after that record. So. Stay tuned in the next few weeks and you'll see how the intensity continues to, to build up a little bit. The in, uh, volume is going to be increasing slightly too. And then we're going to get into peaking and you'll see what happens as we begin to do that. So stay tuned for that in the next week and I'll talk to you in week nine. Kevin Weiss, bodyperformance.net. Have a good one.